Hi guys, how you doing? This is lesson seven, the first video. Um, and here you see a kid standing on his hands. This is a desh. His sister used a stopwatch to see how long he could do his handstand. And he told his friends the next day that he held his handstand for 10 seconds. What do you notice? Maybe you notice that he said he held his handstand for 10 seconds, but we don't know his actual time of holding his handstand. And what do you wonder? You might wonder how long he really held his handstand. And you might wonder also how many times he tried it before he got to be about 10 seconds. So what time could it have said on his stopwatch for him to tell his friends that he held his handstand for about 10 seconds? Think of some possible times that he could have on his stopwatch. Maybe the stopwatch read nine and seven tenths seconds. Would that make sense that he would claim to hold the handstand for 10 seconds if it, if he held it for nine and seven tenths seconds? Sometimes easier to just say 10 seconds. Tenths of seconds are really small. So maybe he's just thinking about the whole number. Maybe he's trying to impress his friends. Maybe it's not super important to be super accurate in this situation, right? It's just saying about 10 seconds. Maybe he rounded his time to the nearest whole number and the nearest whole number is 10. Well, that's our introduction to today's lesson um, because in lesson seven, we will round decimal numbers to the nearest one, the nearest tenths, and the nearest hundredths. All right, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Aloha.